Hey, this is Ryan, and today I wanted to go over a strategy that I've used a couple of times uh, using ClickFunnels to get high quality uh, new leads for agencies. So I have used this for a Facebook ads agency, um, you know, to do Facebook ads consulting. The same for uh, e-commerce as well, for some e-commerce services that I was um, that I'm you know still offering for funnels and email marketing for e-com and things like that. So I've basically any kind of uh, client lead gen that I've been doing um, for myself and also um, helping out other agencies with getting um, getting qualified leads. I've basically used the same funnel structure um, every time and obviously just customized it to the specific offer and agency. And um, you know it's it's worked well. Um, it, it's never really. It's never really not worked, um, and you know if the if the offer and the whatever the the bait is that is being used to attract leads is is solid, um, this funnel structure is going to work really well and get um, you know get some some really high quality leads coming through for hopefully a pretty good price with advertising and things like that. So I just want to show you um, what it looks like, and um, you know give you an example and then give you the funnel um, so you can just use it yourself. There'll be a link below this video, and you can just copy this funnel template um, into your own ClickFunnels account for free. Um, and then you can customize this funnel and use it for your own agency or your own consulting or, or whatever. Um, and I'm going to show you an example of when I use this for um, when I was looking to attract fitness businesses for Facebook ads. So like gyms, CrossFit businesses, health businesses, personal trainers, things like that. Um, I used this funnel the very first time I developed it actually was to attract those businesses with Facebook ads and like I said it worked very well and I've used it to attract um, a few different types of agency clients for different offerings uh, for different people since then. So basically um, the structure of the funnel is um, we're going to go over a simple landing page which I'll show you in a minute, a couple of variations of that and it's either going to be for, I like to do a case study. so. Um, the, the bait to get someone's initial interest to get their email address is going to be usually to watch a case study video, like a 10 to 20 minute video um, outlining you know, the results that you get for clients with whatever um, service your agency is offering. Um, that's something I've found to work really, really well. If you don't have a case study or for whatever reason don't have the time or ability to put together a case study video, you can just use um, a more traditional lead magnet like... Um, a guide, checklist, PDF, or whatever, um, some kind of uh, some kind of lead magnet to, to get someone's email. I mean, you can use the same the same funnel structure, but I suggest using the case study video. Um, so we're going to go opt-in page, case study video, then an application form. Um, so you can get a lot of information from someone before you speak to them and decide if they're potentially a good fit for you. And then a section at the end for someone to schedule a call with you so that you basically just get you know leads fully automated okay so let's have a look at the funnel so the um, the opt-in page um, I like the the version actually both these do pretty well so we'll have a look at them individually but the version on the left um, is, is my personal favorite but the version on the right works too so um, here's what it looks like so like I said this is when um, I was using I was doing an example for fitness businesses and I was trying to get um, those to come into my business to basically sell them on Facebook ads and funnels and things like that for gyms and, and that kind of thing. So this was the um, the base template that I use. So um, basically free case study video for gyms and etc. And this was the you know this was the offer headline um, and down here I'd actually um, updated some like businesses that were working with me at the time. These are just like placeholders. Um, and then people can just click this button to um, you know go to the next stage, say, yes, I want to watch this video. I want to see how you're doing this and what results you're getting. Um, they would put their information in here, click the button, and then they would go to, to the next page. And there's a variation of the, um, of the landing page that looks like this. So it's the same message, um, just a little bit of a different layout. Um, and here it kind of has the fake video play button. Um, you have to be careful um, 
with this and see this is not actually customized that I didn't really use this because you have to be careful doing this with Facebook ads um, but this is something you could use where you use like a fake play button to open the email um, email box um, so basically both of these buttons um, will uh, ask someone to enter their email to go to the next stage which is to watch the video so this is the first section of like my this is the first page of my agency um, agency funnel so when someone opts in they will go to the case study video page so this is basically just where we give them what we just promised them um, I probably have a placeholder video in there now yeah so this is a placeholder video but basically um, congratulations you've got access to the video step one watch the Facebook ads case study video right now so this would be the video that I mentioned earlier where it would just basically outline um, the kind of clients that you work with, the results that you get for them, um, a bit of social proof and testimonials if possible, and also a, um, you know, a few little tips that they can take away but not enough for them to just go and do everything themselves that you do. Um, then obviously a call to action um, at the end to apply to work with you. And obviously this video is just made to demonstrate your expertise and the fact that you can get results um, and encourage them to, to take the next step. So I've actually just embedded this video in here at, at the moment. But this is where your case study video would, would go. Um, and then underneath is the call to action. So apply now to see if you qualify. Um, and just some just some kind of text around that and then some more placeholders for you can have like testimonials or client logos here or some results or whatever and they would you know click here to start application and this goes to the application page so this is a you know fairly in-depth application where we're going to get as much information as possible um, about the lead um, before they can really book a call with us or anything like that so we know straight away you know is this person even is it even possible that we want to work with this person before we start talking to them and things like that and these are just um, questions that I've designed in, in click funnels for like different drop downs or like free form text boxes and um, that people have to go through and either select one or fill out so you really know what situation they're in so obviously you can customize these questions yourself um, but basically you know depending on what you're offering but basically, it's just um, things about the situation, things uh, about revenue, goals, problems they're running into, where they want to get to, um, how serious they are, um, and, and things like that, and then just their, their contact information. So just think about what um, you know, sensible questions would be for your market and your offer, and um, just make it kind of like eight to, eight to ten questions or so, um, just to give you enough information so you can scan it and know like is this you know is this someone I actually want to get on the phone with is this the qualified lead uh, you, you just want to be able to do that and you know make it make people take a few minutes to fill this out so that you know people are actually at least somewhat serious if they go through this process um, and it's not just you know enter a name and email but it's actually them having to to, to make some sorry to take some time think about things and, and give you give you some, some information. Um, so the people that go through and fill this out are going to be way more qualified. So um, they would they would fill this out and most of these forms are um, are required. Um, like I said, you can customize these in, in the template below that I've included with the video. And then they would um, click submit application and go to next step, which would take them to the schedule page. And the schedule page here, all I do literally is just embed a calendar um, into here. So let's have a look. This should be loading um, some kind of HTML box here. Uh, maybe it's not working or maybe it is not actually in there. But essentially, um, in this white gap here, there is just a a box where you embed your calendar. So I'll use Calendly.com, you can use like Schedule Once, something like that, and any calendar tool which allows you to embed, you just um, insert the HTML code to embed your calendar under this headline. They pick and choose a time, it all happens within ClickFunnels and that's it. They book it, you get an email confirmation, they get an email confirmation and that is that. And it works um, 
it, it, it works pretty well. So that is the agency funnel. Um, I think this must be an old version of the template because things like my calendar run in there. Um, these you know logos were filled out with like clients and stuff like that. But anyway, this version is good enough um, for you to use and customize. Um, the only thing you'll really need to update is to add your um, calendar embed, which is just a ClickFunnels um, HTML embed. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So if I was to actually um, make this fully up to date and put the... Oh, so it is here. So for some reason it wasn't um, showing up. but So this is a custom... Um, this is a custom HTML box um, where you can put like a piece of code um, and it will basically whatever you put in here will display within your ClickFunnels page and they can like use it you know just as if they were on the real website. So for example if this is Calendly or Schedule Once or some kind of calendar tool um, you would just put the embed code from that tool in here and they will be able to use your calendar within ClickFunnels. Um, so maybe I didn't have the right code or any code or anything. So why this one? Okay, so the um, my HTML code isn't actually in there. So that is just um, the only thing that is why that wasn't working. So if you just paste your code um, into that box for your calendar, people will be able to schedule, and that that box is already there. So you just need to copy and paste yours in. So that is how the um, that is how the funnel works. So yeah, I would say if you are any kind of agency offering any kind of marketing services or consulting or or things like that. Start with this funnel structure. Go for the opt-in for the case study, the case study video page, the application page, and the schedule page. Simple four steps. Um, if the offer and the message is good, and you have like good social proof and client testimonies and things that in there, like there, this is this is gonna work. Um, and the degree to which it works will depend on you know your offer and you know the market and things like that. But I would definitely say start with this structure. Um, and hopefully, you know, it'll, it'll do well for you. I actually had a number of people um, come to me and say that they, they use this to generate their own um, high-ticket clients um, or high-ticket leads or agency leads um, for all different kinds of services. So some people doing e-com consulting. Um, I know a couple of people are using it for, for Facebook ads coaching and things like that. And they've just customized it. So this definitely works. I would use it. It looks fairly professional. Just rebrand it to yourself, obviously. And you can get the link below. Um, just click that and it will copy this exact funnel as you see it into your ClickFunnels account and you can use it for free um, and just customize it for yourself. So, And if you don't already have a ClickFunnels account, um, the link will just create you a 14-day free trial with this funnel already in there. And um, yeah, use this as a starting point for generating agency leads. You can, um, you know, however you're generating leads, Facebook ads, um, you know, email or whether you have a website that gets traffic already, you can send people to this page from you know, any of those sources. And like I said, if the offer is good on the landing page, you should be off to a great start. And the funnel will, will do the rest as long as you have something that's compelling in there. So that's all for now. Um, I hope this works for you um, as well as it did for me. And if there's any questions, uh, let me know. I always try and do my best to respond to them in the comments. All right, thanks.